in a democracy what happens is it is meant to give you the freedom to pursue your own goals your own let's say dreams but it also unfortunately gives you the luxury of passing on your duty to the next generation i can't do it somebody else will do it and as a consequence what you have handed over as legacy to the next generation is a set of problems which only keeps growing by the day a set of identity related challenges which only keeps piling up by the day so the hope is at least in my generation we'll reduce the burden for the next generation if not eliminated help us help us by helping yourself take an active interest in the people around you i'm sure at the very least you can influence five people in your circles i'm not asking you to convert i'm asking you to tell them what you stand for if somebody spits against your faith or your community in in front of you the very least you can do is to speak up and stand up for your community as opposed to keeping your mouth shut out of some misplaced sense of politeness politeness is not in keeping your mouth shut when somebody is spewing venom against your faith it's as good or as bad as respecting a friendship where the friend is actually spitting at your parents and you don't want to hurt the friend's sentiments it's as stupid as that are you going to choose your parents over your friends that is the question that you have to ask yourself this is the simplest example that i can at least offer go back to the basics read aurobindo read swami vivekananda read madan mohan malviya read kem munshi read ambedkar do read him i haven't found one intellectual in the last 60 years who comes anywhere close to his clarity of thought he is one of the sterling individuals that we have produced whatever his angst may have been against certain scriptures that was a product of the circumstances he was brought up in and the product of the circumstances he lived in but remember he never chose to convert outside the dharmic fold he never chose to convert to any other faith despite all the incentives that were offered to him he tried his best to ensure that caste discrimination and untouchability were reduced and when he realized that he couldn't succeed he went to the closest option available that allows him to remain within the fold which is buddhism he did not convert to any other faith so anybody who uses ambedkar to divide this community is a motivated useful idiot in the hands of those who have an agenda he is useful for them and he is an idiot for me so therefore he is a useful idiot so my request to you would be as opposed to offering sweets to each other on festive occasions distribute books make sure that people are aware of their roots community participation or community celebration of festivals is important the very least that you must develop over a point of time is the power of argumentation but you need information before you argue so try and equip yourself with as much information as possible when your child asks you the reason for a certain practice at least admit that you don't know and try to answer the question the next time he asks you the question as opposed to saying this is some superstition merely because you know nothing it can't be superstition that is not the definition of superstition as long as far as i know it so my request to you would be if you can't think of the society let's be indians and be and be selfish think of yourself think of your family think of your children and for their own sake take an active interest in protecting your traditions